start this video. Love compatibility request videos are three dollars via Cash App. There's my Cash App tag. If you want me to do compatibility videos, just Cash App me. Drop the fire heart emoji with the tag, and I'm gonna do it because I love doing them. But however, those are time consuming. By the way, very time consuming. And if we want to stay a team, we gotta keep the function flowing. We gotta keep this flowing because this knowledge is inevitable. Okay. back to the main youtube channel so today we're gonna talk about you know one of my favorite zodiac signs the libra man but uh, before i even start right y'all know it's libra season you always got you know libra there's something beautiful about libra season it's just like all the color changing of the leaves autumn and fall and just it just feels like diplomacy it just feels like everything's at bay everything's balancing itself out for the winter season but before i get deep into the video make sure you check out my music video for my song dangerous it's out now and also check out my ep siren which is out on all music streaming platforms so let's dive into this so libras 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 is a cardinal earth sign oh not cardinal earth sign my bad cardinal air sign meaning they initiate they are the initiators of the zodiac so the four cardinal signs will be from aries cancer libra and capricorn those are the people who bring in the new season people who you can't boss around a libra think about it have you ever tried to boss around a libra even though they could be chill and diplomatic you ever seen a libra you really can push over think about it they may be the most chill people of the zodiac but have you ever seen a libra you can really push over because their boss is like that. They are the leaders of the pack, but they do it in a fashion that's super refined to the point where it's like, you don't make them, they don't make you feel uncomfortable or intimidated by their presence. They want you to follow their lead, but in a subtle way, but not in your, in your face way, like an Aries or a Capricorn, or even a Cancer. Cancers are very in your face too. Oh my goodness. When it comes to Libra men, I've definitely seen the good, bad, and ugly that comes to dealing with these men. Because I have one brother, their birthday is on the 3rd, the next is on the 4th. I, I have a nephew on the 5th, and another nephew is on October 27th. So I'm very familiar with their energy, okay? And I'm a Sagittarius, so definitely it's very complimentary. It, most astrologers say Sagittarius and Libra are the best combination. But here, let me just put it like this, right? When you're dealing with these men, understand... They, these are the people who balance out masculinity and femininity like that. That's why they're always so nonchalant. They're not so alpha, alpha, alpha like a fire sign, but they're not beta like a water sign. And I'm sorry, water sign men. Everybody got a balance of masculine and feminine and, and your own personal birth charts. I just had to say that. But I wanted to say specifically with the Libra zodiac sign, even with the Libra women, they balance out their masculinity and femininity very well to the point where it's like they know how to maneuver to get what they want towards who they want. They're very analytical like that. So some famous Libra men that I didn't mention in part one, Zac Efron, Eminem, Simon Cowell, ASAP Rocky, T.I., and John Mayer. Now there's a few. So in this part, right, I wanted to get into some of the not so pleasant attributes that come with the Libra men that you should dictate. L is for Libra. L is for liars to a degree. To a degree. They withhold a lot. See, this is the thing. If you're not an air sign or a fire sign, it's easy to be manipulated by these guys because if you're an emotional person, this ain't the man for you. They're nice, they're nice guys. Don't get it twisted. Very diplomatic, refined men. When you really see liberals like that, they hardly come out of character. But one thing I will say, they, these are the guys that will lie to keep the peace, lie to avoid conflict, skate over things, never really address issues and just expect things to just go away over time to keep the peace. 
that's Libra men and you might even see these attributes in the Taurus men as well because they're both ruled by Venus. Another sign, another thing that comes with the Libra men that I didn't mention in part one, I get that like, oh, man, let's just say they could be a little bit of attention freaks. Like they can be, they, these are the type of guys that like will be like that one guy hanging out with all the girls just because they get like that validation. This will be the one guy that will be the brown noser, like, oh, I got this. To be the one, he just w wants to be the center of attention, but in a subtle way, but not like an Aries. Almost like Capricorn to a degree. Like, these guys just always, and then again, this is just an attribute that comes with the cardinal sign, okay? They could be, but then again, oh, men, honestly, y'all are attention whores, but y'all never will admit it. <laughs> y'all never will admit it, Okay. Oh my god these guys they tend to like what you might call it some of the negative things about them is like obviously like i said the lying obviously the lying they will lie to keep the peace this and that and also they can be cheap 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 cheap, cheap. like they they view it as being conservative and rational but boy you is cheap these are the type of guys too they could be if they're unbalanced and unevolved they could be way more feminine than masculine and it's such a turn off and i didn't mean to like oh come on now so like i'm just saying yeah they can they can act like you know zesty to a degree and it's like like the whole body language demeanor and then boys will be like oh, oh, oh. there's rumor that libras too could be the in the closet type of guys too so just to be aware another thing about libra men that you should know these guys can have gang affiliation but because they're so nonchalant honestly if you're not a deep diver they'll be able to get away with it these type of guys like you know what i'm saying what they know how to emotionally detach from situations and the point where it's like they're always the one trying to keep the peace they don't like to store up the pot yada 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 these are the type of guys also they're okay i'll just say it like that most astrologers will agree with this these are these are the guys that can be a little bit of the pipsqueak pathetic pretty boys like it's not attractive and i, I, I don't know why they maneuver their day-to-day -day life like that they do it to get things out of women it's like the reverse um it's like reverse feminine femininity but they use their femininity to get things for women oh, i'm gonna tell all the secrets and nobody will tell it i'm gonna tell it i ain't here to spare nobody's feelings and if you hear you soft like that don't even watch my channel baby bye i think you can click out the video by pressing this box right here and swipe down and press that X. But yeah, these are the guys that can use their feminine energy to try to manipulate women. Like, oh, talking in that soft voice. And oh, like, dude, are you attracted to women or not? Like, I'm just telling like that. And then with gang affiliation, they like to play nonchalant, nonchalant. These are, but yeah, I didn't mean to like, I'm just saying, yeah, they can, they can act like, you know, zesty. Sorry about that. So basically, yeah, one thing with Libra guys, they like to be like, oh, well, we was never in a relationship, yada, yada, yada. But then how you got all these baby mamas and all these kids if you was never in a relationship? They like to deny the fact that they're relationship men. They love forming relationships. Shoot, the term public relations should directly correlate to Libras, okay? It's funny. Libra men like to like to lie. And it's like they like to lie to everybody to keep the peace. But then it's like, if your peace is turning into problems, that's that lie ain't worth it, baby. I'm sorry, the lie ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Because you might say, oh, you're not in a relationship with this person, this person, this person, but how all these women got babies by you. If you wasn't in relations with these people, how they got babies by you? How? Somebody lying, it ain't me. <laughs> That's all that I have for the We Were Man video, mean team. My May ones, my day ones, the real ones will keep my channel going. Smash that subscribe button, check out my music video, and also tune back in for more Zodiac Talk videos. I love you.